Hello everyone, welcome to my channel once again. This is the beginner series in web design where I'm going to be showing you how I do design websites and I'm going to be basing on a content management system called WordPress. So WordPress, everybody who's, if you've ever had any intention of building a website, you've ever done any simple research, you'll enf encounter this WordPress mostly used by many people. And I'm going to also use that one to show you how it's actually done. Everything that in, is involved in terms of getting your website to fully run is going to be compiled in this series of videos. And I'm going to urge you to stay with me from this episode until the last, the very last episode that is part of this series of web design. So first of all, let's go to the introduction. Like, what do you need to have a website to be fully running that is going to be accessible to everybody? Who is trying to look for you maybe you have a business maybe you want to just put your own portfolio of work that you've been doing maybe you want to communicate something about your organization a charity event or different other things you have a shop you want to do so what do you actually need the first thing you need is what we call a domain name so you need to have a domain name is the name of that particular business that you have or organization it can be uh, abc and then dot and then the extension which is either.com.org and we even have customized extensions for countries like dot so for somalia dot ke for kenya dot uk for united kingdom dot ae for united arab emirates and many other countries have different different extensions so a domain name is compulsory for you to have a a, a, a website and the other thing is what we call a hosting i'm not going to to delve much into that area i'm assuming that you already have a domain name and you already have a host so when you go to hosting you have providers who do that uh, we have godaddy bluehost you know dynado different other other service providers and for us we are powered by hydra digital solutions which also does web hosting and domain registration so if you want that can just communicate to them send them an email and they'll be able to hook you up into their own hosting services so i'm assuming you already have a domain name and a hosting package for your website so that you can be able to have a website so the domain name is that just the directory that will be able to direct people to that particular service so it's, it can be your name the name of your organization the name of anything the brand that you have then dot com or dot org so for example here we have uh, so the sample that we're going to be working on here is called siha.so S-I-H-A which we're going to we already register the domain and we have a hosting for it I'm going to take you step by step on how you can now do that once you have registered for a domain and you have a hosting there is something called a C panel that you have the control panel you are provided with that control panel so that you can be able to put your information there you can work on your website from there. It is the back end of the content management system whereby you have everything, you know. It has emails, you can set up your emails, it has different other things. So this is the C panel. When you look at the C panel, for example, here, you can see we have the tools, we have uh, site builder, we have WP toolkit, which is WordPress toolkit. That, that's going to be handy. That's going to come in handy today. And uh, we have managed team, we have site quality monitoring, and then WordPress managed by Softaculous. This is where you have different other softwares. I'm, I'm not going to talk a lot about that, but yeah, it's there. So when you look at it, we have here, we have emails. We have uh, this is the email section where you can now come into that C panel and then do your email uh, configurations if you want to use the the, the, the one that is inside this, the server that is provided with the cPanel or you want to set up from maybe Google uh, workspaces, then you can be able to configure it with that. Um, on this other side, you can see the details for our our domain, siha.so, it's a domain that's already being registered. And here, the control panel, we have the hosting already. Here we have files, the next part from emails, the next one we have files, file manager, images, directory, and FTP accounts, all these other things. This is where you have file manager, this is where you have to, you get 
to store the details, the information, you know, the website documents, whether it's images, whether it is media files, different things, they're going to be in your file manager. And that's where you have that one. So it's like the computer within your computer. I don't know what. <laughs> and then you have database, PHP. So you should be able to understand that uh, you cannot have uh, uh, a website without a database, you know. Otherwise, how are you going to be able to log in? Because where do you store that information? Where do you store that data credential? So that's where databases come in handy. And then you have PHP my admin, the one that you can be able to work on. And then you have domains. This is where you can be able to set up multiple domains, so like uh, subdomains. So like, for example, here you have ch.so. You can be able to put like, uh, maybe you are doing an, a multi a multi multi site website so maybe it's english and other language so you can put ch.so slash english ch.so slash arabic for example that's going to be coming in handy when you set up subdomains also there's more information about these subdomains that we are not going to tackle in the beginner section we have metrics where you can check data and security and then the softwares this softwares is what you saw here on this wordpress managed by softaculous and other software so when you see you have redis have rubies you have different other softwares python is here and this is on the advanced level i'm not going to be tackling it in here right now advanced you see um so this is what you have scripts and then categories this is the cpanel and uh, you have the domain here so in the next video we're going to delve into now setting up your wordpress so that you can be able to now move from there to the next level of designing it we already have the domain and the hosting see you in the next video